All right, we're back. <coughs> we got a dusting of snow throughout the week. Um, it's been pretty cold, but the uh, the snow didn't melt or anything, so we got our exact location from last week here. The hole there, hole out there, 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 there. So we know where we caught them last week. We're gonna set up to hit them on the exact same spots this week. Put our shanty there last week. But everything good pretty much came out of this hole here, so we're gonna set up slightly different. See how much it froze from last week. The holes refroze probably. Well, I don't wanna go chipping on it, but it's gotta be at least three inch ice reformed there. Heavy sword you yield. It's pretty early. A lot of lakes don't have good ice. Some of the small ones do. But I don't want anybody thinking I bring my kids out on unsafe ice here. So see my whole hands inside of there. We haven't punched through yet, and there's probably six or seven inches there. Stop throwing snowballs, you weirdo. Alright, we're gonna finish this setup. I gotta push on it with my leg. Hold the corner. Stay behind the sled. The pop. And then they get off center sometimes here. This rod's coming here, this rod's coming here. So you just kind of pick up, lift and twist, and you'll hear that click in that hub. If you don't do that, you can break a rod. Ah. Once you do that first one, they're off. You step on a corner, I do. Push on the opposite corner. Got room for our heater behind our holes. We usually run most of the windows closed because then you can heat, see better on the aqua view. This is the Quick Fish 2. So it's actually a two man. We fit three with the kids, but it's tight, so it's time for an upgrade. It works good with two smaller people in here, but with three chairs, it's tight. So we got the aqua view. This is the Micro AV2, which is color. Um, there are a couple lesser models, and there's a whole lot better models, but it's a nice Christmas gift for Bennett. Last year, well, a year and a half now, or a year and change. I set it up on this tripod. Got a hook down here, so it holds the line in place. I can spin the tripod, so it's not real fancy. You just got a cable, and adjust the angle which the camera sits. You can have it. And different things so it could be up flat or down so I put it on here I put an extra long bolt so that way I can spin the camera like this the wet line down all right we're starting to pick up the bottom right now so I'll show you this we got a lot a lot of stuff in here it's definitely tougher to see on here it's there but you can see the bottom there a little bit so we need to go around probably another spin maybe another spin yet just make sure you don't touch the bottom because if you touch the bottom, you stir all that silt up. Okay, so then we hook it on there. Make a soft, soft knot in there. And then hook it on there. And that's the fixing. Oh, so we can see good. This fish just cruised away from us, unfortunately. Get some bait down there that may change. Plus, we'll drill some holes outside and doing some jumping around there. The nicest day we've had so far, so. We got one on. We do have one on. And a lot of fish are following. This is a dink, but it looked like some better ones were following this one up. I mean, I don't doubt that we're going to catch a ton of dinks too, but definitely was a couple of better looking ones. Let's 
pretty small, but a little bigger than the last one, actually. Yeah, a little tiny bit bigger than the last one. Like a six-incher. Oh, there's better ones down there. Better ones down there. Go on, bud. There you go. It is hard to tell sizes on the camera, I will say that. Kids are playing outside. Snowball fight or something. To that extent. Oh, that's a nice looking one there. That fish doesn't look too bad. Right in the Oh, a little one came in and scared him off. Grabbed the bait. Oh, yeah? I don't have one. Yeah, I got two. I don't that. Better one or what? Come on. I think. And I'll have these, which will make five too. Oh, yeah. Any smaller, he'd be bait. I mean, he would be bait for a lot of things, but not here. I haven't actually seen any bass, pickerel, or crappies on the end. Their water camera, but we have caught one pickerel and a couple of crappies. Hooked up with a good perch now. Oh, he's in the camera cable, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Mm. Oh, uh, that's why we don't lift up so much with a fish buggy. But you got him. You got him anyways. He didn't fall in the hole. There you go. Want a picture? Bug boy. Let's get him back. Starting from the head. Oh, oh, let him do it. Let him do it. I was only gonna push his head. All right. Nice job. Daddy. Don't lose it. Keep cranking. Keep cranking. We got a monster cranking. big perch on here. We had a dink. Oh no! He came off. No. No, no, that was a giant. So we had this. Whoa! We got cleaned off too. Oh, that was a giant, silly nilly. That was definitely your best perch. Good shot at. They got hard cranking, didn't it? it oh yeah. That was a beast. So we're watching the Aqua View. This little dink comes up and sucks up the bait. And I see this big one come. I'm like, oh, it's a giant. I wish we could get that one. The giant chases this dink off the screen, and all of a sudden, he's back, and he's got the bait in his mouth. So we set a hook on him, <clears throat> and Penelope was trying her best to reel up this <laughs> behemoth monster freaking perch. It had to be a 13, 14 incher. It was big. <clears throat> That's why you just keep fishing. It'll come back. <clears throat> It'll come back. Was he fighting you good or what? I couldn't even check it. <laughs> He's not quitting. Oh, uh, you get him? Oh, oh, that is a nice one. That was a pretty nice one. It's fish. Yeah, right. good Booyah. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, I got a big one. Hey, I got a time. Just a little itty bitty pink jig, couple of spikes. Then I'm gonna hold it, cause I caught it. Pretty good one, all right. Oh, you probably did do second, but. Oh yeah, so you did the cranking, so that counts? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's see Stop. your fish. Stop, little one. Pretty good one? Yeah. A big one. All right. But, uh, this guy's <laughs> taking a bite at the camera, look at this fish. No. Look at him, he's hitting the camera. Uh, he's a weirdo. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> what do we got there? Nice. Yeah, about 11 and a half. Good. 12. Yeah, so I was pushing it. I was pushing it. I'd say 11 and a half. That's a nice one. That's, that's about where you want to start eating them when they're about like that big. Make sure you lay his head first, lay him down on the ice, and then just slide him a little bit. I'm going to count. Careful, careful. Don't bang him up. Go. Three, two, one. Three, go. There it goes. Give you a nice little wave splash goodbye. Nice job. Good fish. He that one yesterday had to be a bruiser. Goodbye. You reeled that one up like nothing. That one yesterday had to be a giant. Nice crappie, looks like. Nope, pickerel. Come on, buddy. Give me my first. Where's the
Icier. Ice. Ice. I'm always happy to catch pickerel. I don't care what I'm targeting. Really. I can catch a pickerel. I'm good with that. I'm not a dink, but not bad. Not bad. Down that hole. Just caught a pickerel in this one. So drop back down and we'll see what happens. This is a <clears throat> Phoebe spoon. <clears throat> we got a nice bend to them, so they're like a flutter spoon. Flutter like crazy on the way down. And they'll pick a direction basically. And uh something there. Probably a dink. <clears throat> and they'll go off to that side of the hole. And then if you let it go that way, let it free fall the whole way and close your bail just before it hits the bottom. It'll uh It'll be off to the one side and they'll come make a nice little swing back under the hole. And a lot of times I'll catch fish on that, finicky fish. I'm jigging around, get nothing, pick it back up, you know, five to ten feet, let it drop back down, make that free fall. It'll go off to the side and make that swing so it has that horizontal motion instead of just the vertical from the jigging. Um, a lot of times that gets me gets me to bite. back up off bottom five six feet <laughs> sit there and just pound that spoon just kind of doing just dancing around flashing silver and silver both sides it's my favorite color it's hoping stormy weather change of barometric pressure would get the fish biting wife's working late tonight so fish till just before dark late afternoon bite happens or not there are a lot of nice crappies in this lake, so I just ain't found exactly where they are. And they move, they seem to move from spot to spot. These guys don't just sit in one spot. Sometimes catch one, sometimes there'll be a stack of them. <laughs> Some small dink. Took a stab at it and he got it. Yep. Okay, next hole. Now, I don't know about you guys. Some people are doing really good this year, but the fish are not where they usually are. I'm struggling. We're getting like maybe two, three good fish <clears throat> every time we go out. Out for two, three, four hours and it's just not happening like it was last year same lake so unless it got fished really really hard this year during the summertime i don't understand what's going on but last year i could we'd come here catch 8 10 real nice perch 11 12 plus inches every time and put perch back like crazy nice ones but not this year there are tons and tons of dinks, so it must be the last two years the, the fry all survived. If there's lots of little ones, and there's lots of big ones, but not catching a lot of them. Hey, Daddy. I need to bring him to one him. Hopefully the weather's not too bad tonight because I want to fish with some tip-ups and some minnows tomorrow or some biggins. Biggins, the kind of fish you could only dream of pulling in. Now it's face Now, now that I'm set on. 
Oh boy, now it can't stand. Yep. Except for now we got a tool symbol. That means it's not working. I'll have you running the camera. I'm pulling in a big one someday. Nothing down there on the bottom. Yep, she's starting to get dark now. We gotta hit that other hole quick. Hey, bug, can you um, could you bring the auger back to the sled, please? Yeah. Some hit it. That was up high. Could have been a dink. It felt like a dink. Right?